Hey, no-till nuts, I'm the Rascal Farmer. Welcome back to the no-till lab. Just sitting here on Wednesday, enjoying my Sherlock, gift for my wife and my son. I call it the snake. It's obvious as to why. Blown by that local guy, the unknown blower. Well, here I am sitting here looking at my seeds, trying to figure out what I'm going to run for my next indoor run. And I figured I'd just break out the camera, throw the vault on the table, and kind of go over it. Maybe you guys would get a kick out of it. All right, so what is sitting in Rascal Farmer's vault? All right. Cuvée. This is Pinot Noir by Space Queen. Chocolate and cherry terps coming out of this. That's what you're looking for in this one. That is Subcool's favorite strain on the whole TGA menu. I have two packs of those. Then I have two packs of Deadlights. Deadlights is ACDC by Pennywise. Really killer strain. This was bred by North Star Genetics. Um, Deadlights is a cross of ACDC and Pennywise. Um, ACDC is a canatonic cut. Then I've got Pina Rita or Pina Rita. Uh, this is Oxican Gold by Space Dude. So this is a Mexican land race strain, and I am really, really super stoked about that. I'd love to get some land race genetics and start playing around with those. All right, here, Scarlet Queen, another TGA strain. This is Killer Queen by Space Queen. Then I've got Grape Inferno. This is Napoli OG by Quirkle. Really, really interested in the Napoli in that. Then one of everybody's favorites, Jack the Ripper. Jack the Ripper is Jack's Cleaner by Space Queen. This was a High Times Top 10 in 2006, only to be matched by Vortex in 2007. And uh, Vortex is a crazy, trippy, really intense strain. This one is Genius by P75 by Romulan by Cindy99. So excited about these two as well. Then I've got my Heroes of the Farm packs. And these, especially these two, these might be the most impressive ones in the whole list. I've got Jacked Up. And Jacked Up is Jack Hair by Time Wreck. That is going to be a killer cross. Can't wait to run that one. Then I've got Neil Cassidy. That is Hippie Crippler by Space Dude. And that is going to be absolutely phenomenal. Phenomenal! I am super excited to get something with the Hippie Crippler in there. I've always wanted to try that. And then Catalina Wine Mixer. Dog Walker by Space Dude. Probably the best two that I've got. And I have to believe that I am going to run those two and hunt these down next winter, 2018. I will probably hunt those down with a couple strains from Miss Jill Grower. Uh, she's got some Willie Nelson that she needs to have tested, and she's going to have some skunk number one crosses that she needs to have tested. And I think I'm just the guy to do it. So I will probably pop those and these and run them all in the no-till bed. All right, Galactic Garden Seeds, Del Barago, Melon Tie by Ace of Spades. Really, really stoked to grow some of the Melon Tie. Zaria Loco, Skunk Number 1 by Locomotion. You'd already seen me grow that last summer. That is a really, really stretchy plant, and I'm going to kind of hold that back. But I am kind of interested in that because I got to cut... I want to see if I can find it again. My Zorio Loco number three was probably more tangy 
than the tangy that I grew. It was really, really citrusy, um, almost obnoxious. And I want to see if I can kind of dig that out again. Um, then right below that, Gorilla Glue number four by Locomotion. This was a Galactic Gardens tester at one time. Um, that is a Galactic Garden strain. That is called Sticky Trap. And then one that I'm super, super, I'm really, really interested in this one. Black Lime Reserve by Locomotion. That is, I believe that one is called Lamero SS. And that is a TGA strain as well. And Black Lime Reserve is something. I smoked this Black Lime Reserve last year at the convention in, or at the Cup in Clio. And that was a phenomenal, phenomenal strain. Uh, AK-47 by Locomotion. Really, really cool. I'm not a huge AK-47 fan, but I do believe in Bo Wallace. And Bo tells me that that AK-47 is a cut he's had around well, for a long, long time. Um, so he wouldn't keep it if it wasn't good, so I can't wait to run that one either. And then I've got my non-TGA strains. Ninja Fruit. You saw my Ninja Fruit. I've got three beans left in that 10-pack, and then I've got six of the green cracks that I run the la ran the last time. Um, these, yeah, that really is what that says that is. Those are seeds from 2014. That is the green ice. My green ice came out of this, and so did my chocolate pheno that was actually went all the way back to a, an early riser strain out of British Columbia. Um, that one I didn't keep, but uh, I don't know. I've got a few of those left. Who knows what could come out of that? That was the result of an accidental back cross after I crossed a strain I bred in, oh gosh, we bred this thing in 90. We started breeding around with this. <clears throat> then I crossed it with a blueberry. It hermed and accidentally back crossed. And then the mother died. So this is what I got. And green ice is the result of that. This is UK cheese by Bubblegum. This is the UK cheese that I am running downstairs. Um, that is my cheese, and the guy I got it from crossed it with bubble gum. I haven't run those at all, um, but I've got those. And then this one, this one's really one of the most interesting ones I've got. I have no idea who this dude was. I don't have his name. I picked these up at the Cup and Clio last summer. Um, my wife and I and my son were hanging out in the VIP tent, and we sat down next to a guy and his wife. Um, they're growers um, and make edibles up in the west end of the UP. Like I said, I don't even have his name. But he came to the cup with those two seeds of a strain called Nom Nom. I have no idea what it is. But when a guy shows up at the cup with two seeds and tells you, Hey man, I brought these two seeds just for the cup with one purpose to give them to some guy who would do something with them. They're special. Man, you keep that stuff. That is like gold right there. And I can't wait to pop those two and even find out what this was because the strain, he didn't even have it with him. He was completely out. It's his favorite personal. He ran out right before the cup and he brought these seeds. So you will definitely see me run those. So... I figured I'd just kind of go through my little seed vault here and uh, let you guys know what I got. And let's get on with the show. 77.7 degrees Fahrenheit, 48% humidity. That was 54% just a few minutes ago before I turned off the dehumidifier and turned off the fan. Nothing has really changed inside the veg tent. That jelly bean looks like he is going to die. Sent a picture of him to my friend. He says, no, no. He says, that'll come back. Um, no, man, that's a dead plant. <laughs> Think I'm going to lose the jelly bean male. Lemon stilton male. 
that seems to be coming through. I have not found any powdery mildew in over a week. And I'm starting to notice some green growth here on the Ninja Fruit. Same thing on the Black Cherry Haze. And on the Green Ice. Actually looking good. I am going to kick this humidifier back on. Kick on the fans. All right, we'll get this room back where it's supposed to be. All right, looking at the clone box. Those look good. No roots yet. I put these in here on the 13th. So they haven't even been in here a week yet. Still holding on. It is 76 degrees. And I'm going to water these as well. Man, they're looking ragged. <laughs> ragged, ragged. All right, let's go check out the uh, flower room. Well, first thing you're going to notice is I got a new heater. Came down here at 9 o'clock tonight. Lights have been on for about two hours. And this room was 69 degrees it's now 75 degrees it is 56 percent humidity in here and that is about to go through the roof i had just gotten done watering trellis is in i don't know if that's as high as it's going to sit Because some of these plants aren't even reaching it. There are five different strains in here. <laughs> and three of those strains have four phenos. So anything goes in this run. This is gonna be a this is gonna be a mess. So I put the trellis in this evening, and I've spent the better part of an hour just kind of playing around. Straightening the plants out as I see them. Filling in some spaces. Moving them around a little bit. Just trying to get it level. And I will probably low stress these and maybe fill in some spots. I'm not really sure. I might just let them go. The temperature at the canopy is still fine. I am right there at the ambient room temperature on the top of the canopy measuring with the uh, digital thermometer, so that's a good sign. Big, big. Looks good. Looks good. You'll notice a little bit of raggedness here at the edge, and it's right here in the front, and that's windburn. You don't find it anywhere else. I am going to go through. This is day eight. And I am going to go through on day 16, somewhere right around in there, and do a pretty good defoliation. And I'll take off a lot of these shade leaves. Kind of open this up. Get the light in there. And watch it rip. Alright guys. That's all the time we got for today. You know what to do. Like.
share, comment, subscribe. I'm the Rascal Farmer. We'll catch you guys right here next time in the No-Till Lab.